the UK, there are seven common species of bumblebee. They are the buff-tailed, the white-tailed, the red-tailed, the common carder bee, the tree bumblebee, the garden bumblebee and the early bumblebee. You can select a species using your mouse. Alternatively, let the video run and you will see a description of all seven species. Buff-tails are our biggest bumblebees and have chunky bodies. They are found throughout the UK except for parts of Scotland. They have a dirty gold band near the head and one on the abdomen. This colour is distinct. In other species the bands are either lemony yellow or cream. Males have a white tail ringed with buff, worker tails are plain white and the queens are buff coloured. Queens like this one can be massive but in a poor season they may be a little bigger than workers. In an early spring you can find them on heliballs. Watch how she brushes the pollen onto her baskets. Winter heather and spring bulbs are other favourites. If they struggle to find nectar they may become distressed. Sugar water helps revive them. Note the short tongue. Workers vary in size from 11 to 17 millimetres. As they have short tongues they prefer daisy-like flowers. Here the worker is buzzing to release pollen. A few workers, like this one, have a buff-coloured tail. Males vary in size from 14 to 16 millimetres. They like flowers that form a platform, such as cerciums and globe thistles. Pollen grains collect on males' hairy bodies, which helps pollinate individual florets. They don't have pollen baskets. They can sip nectar while looking out for new queens, and a mating opportunity. The male, circled, is a lot smaller than the queen. New queens busy themselves obtaining nectar. They need to put on enough fat to see them through the winter. The white-tailed bumblebee is a common species found throughout the UK. It's slightly smaller than the buff-tailed bumblebee. Queens, workers and males have a yellow band on the thorax and on the abdomen. On a fresh specimen, the tail is a bright white and the yellow bands are a bright lemony yellow. A paler form is found in the north. They have short tongues so they tend to forage on flowers with short corollas and daisy type flowers. Males have yellow hair on their head and extra tufts of yellow hair on the thorax and abdomen. The additional yellow hair helps distinguish them from buff-tailed males. Males vary in length from 14 to 16 millimetres. This male is at the lower end of the size range. You can see the extra yellow hairs very clearly. This is a northern male with much paler markings. White-tailed and buff-tailed queens and workers have a similar pattern of yellow banding and it can become quite difficult to distinguish the two, especially as both species tend to fade with time. Tail colour is the key for queens. It's white in white-tailed and brownish-orange in buff-tailed. Queens are about 19 to 20 millimetres in length. With workers it's more difficult. If you can see buff-coloured hairs on a worker, you can be sure it's a buff-tailed. If pure white, it could be either species. Workers vary in length from 11 to 17 millimetres. Red-tailed bumblebees are found throughout England and Wales. They are also present in much of Scotland. Workers and queens have the same colouring, black body and a bright orange tail. Males have, in addition, yellow hairs on the thorax and face. Early males have an additional yellow band on the abdomen, which distinguishes them from red-tailed males. Queens are between 20 and 22 millimetres long. They are as long as buff tails, but less heavily built. Note the pollen ba basket has black hair. This distinguishes it from the rare red-shanked bee queens, which have red hair on the pollen baskets, 
and the red-tailed cuckoo queens which have black wings and no pollen baskets. Workers vary between 11 and 16 millimetres. Some early workers are no bigger than houseflies. They have comparatively short tongues and they prefer flowers that form distinct landing platforms such as daisies, dandelions and thistles. They also like chives, ragwood and lavender. Males are between 14 and 16 millimetres. Note the yellow hair on the thorax and on the face. They like to land on plants where they can obtain nectar and also keep a watch for females. Globe thistles are a good example. Common carder bees are found throughout Britain except on the Scilly Isles, Outer Scottish Isles and Shetland. Queen's workers and males all have similar markings and a hairy thorax. However, the shade varies from pale cream, especially in the north, to a deep copper colour. There's a variable amount of black on the abdomen. Workers vary in length from 10 to 15 millimetres. Long tongues let them get nectar from flowers with long tubes. In the spring these include lupins, camphorae, vetch, red clover and pulmonaria. Later in the season, lavender is popular. Note the large pollen baskets and also how quickly the bee moves between country flowers. Here's a worker on Vetch. This worker is enjoying the lavender. Males are between 13 and 14 millimetres long. Queens are larger than workers at between 16 and 18 millimetres. These queens are vividly coloured. Note for pollen baskets and also the pointed tail. The tree bumblebee was first found in the UK in 2001 in Wiltshire. It's now found in most of England and Wales. In 2013 it reached southern Scotland. Queen's workers and males all have a similar colour pattern. The thorax is tawny to reddish brown, the abdomen is black and the tail is white. Males are chunky, being up to 16 millimetres in length. Fresh males have a patch of yellowish facial hair, but this wears off with time. Workers range from 11 to 16 millimetres. They are fast moving and they are effective pollinators. They like plants they can land on, like this geranium. Queens vary significantly in size. They can be up to 18 millimetres in length. This queen is at the small end of the range. New queens busy themselves getting nectar as they need to put on enough fat to see themselves through the winter. They also need to collect pollen and they use a the method of buzzing to release pollen from flowers like roses. This queen is quite a large one. The garden bumblebee is found throughout the UK. Males, workers and queens all have the same markings. A black body with gold bands at the front and the back of the thorax, another gold band at the front of the abdomen, and a white tail. They have very long faces and a long tongue. This lets them get nectar from long tubular plants such as foxgloves, aquilegia and comfrey.
Queensland workers are very fast moving, making it difficult to see the number of yellow bands. Although they are of a similar length to buff tails, they are a much lighter build, appearing longer and more pointy. But workers vary in length from 11 to 18 millimetres. Males have very handsome antennae. They like plants such as chives and sertiums where they can sip nectar and watch for females. Note the long face and the tongue. Males vary in size from 15 to 16 millimetres. Early bumblebees are a particularly small species that appear early in the spring. You can find them throughout Britain except on the Scilly Isles, Outer Hebrides, Orkneys and Shetland. Queens, workers and males have yellow bands on the thorax and abdomen and a dark orange-yellow tail. Males have yellow hair on the face and a yellow collar. Queens vary in length from 15 to 17 millimetres. The tail is often dark orange-red and may fade with time. Because the colour on the tail is restricted to the final segment, it can be difficult to see while the bee is moving. They have short tongues and like to forage on thistles and daisy-like flowers. White clover, lavender, sage and alliums are popular. Note the queen's pointed tail. The abdominal yellow banding is less pronounced or missing in workers. Workers range from 10 to 14 millimetres, the smallest a little bigger than house flies and very easy to overlook. Males have a yellow band on the abdomen plus a broad yellow collar that wraps around the thorax and yellow hair on the face. The band on the abdomen helps to distinguish them from red-tailed males. Males vary in length from 11 to 13 millimetres. Males don't contribute anything to the nest. They spend their time gathering nectar and looking for females. Their whole purpose is to find a new queen and mate with her.